You're just a hardcore PvPer, aren't you? I bet your gun never leaves your side. Bradley tank? More like Bradley wank. Helicopter, container ship. Oh, <laughs> you mean floating loot, am I right? Gunfight? Pfft, please. You'll bring a bow to a gunfight and you'll still win. All you do is make plays and go deep, yo. Nothing on the server can touch you. Nothing. Except for darkness. I can't, I can't see anything! Where's the sw Fuck, man, where's the fireplace? And welcome to the lighting technology used by the average typical pvp -er. It's not much, but there's no time to learn things like electricity. You're out busy making plays with your mad PvP buddies, yo. Electricity, circuitry, diagrams, wiring. Pfft. You mean roleplayer bullshit? Ain't nobody got time for that. However, you do have time for that. And let me explain why. Nighttime takes up 50% of your time in Rust, and if you don't do lighting, you're gonna have half your gameplay in total darkness, and it's gonna be shit. Now using these five components in my hotbar, we will make a lighting system that requires no maintenance, no switching on, no switching off. We'll start with the battery, and the battery as you know holds charge. It has both an input and an output. The input will be fed by a solar panel. This is the charge panel. It provides the battery with electricity and it makes the charge time go up during the daytime. Next we have the blocker. Now the blocker is a simple unit that has both an input and an output. It also has a blocking unit on the side. Now when the blocking unit doesn't receive electricity, it allows electricity to flow through it. However, once you add some electricity to the blocker side, it will prevent any electricity from flowing through that item. Take away that charge and the flow will flow through. Now we're gonna add some lights and we are gonna power these lights off the battery. From the output side of the battery, we're gonna go straight to the blocker. And on the output side of the blocker, we are gonna feed the lights. The lights will in turn switch on immediately because nothing is blocking the signal from the solar panel to the battery, from the battery through the blocker and to the lights. This is simple. Next, I'm gonna place my second solar panel and I'm gonna call this solar panel the sensor solar panel. I'm gonna face it west because the sun sets in the west and we want this to work while the sun is out. From the sensor solar panel, we're gonna go all the way down until we reach the blocker. Once we supply electricity through to the blocker, you'll notice the lights immediately switch off. It works like this. During the day, the sun is out and it provides sun to both of the charge and the sensor solar panel. From the charge solar panel, electricity flows into the battery, making the battery charge up. At the same time, that battery discharges and it sends electricity out to the battery. However, it stops at the blocker because the blocker is currently activated. That is because the same sun that is hitting the charging panel is also hitting the sensor panel and that electricity is making the blocker activate. So while the battery charges, it tries to discharge. However, because of the second solar panel, it stops at the blocker. When the sun eventually goes out, the battery stops charging, the blocker stops blocking, and it allows flow through of electricity, and then your lights activate. I'm gonna give a quick demonstration of how the system works, but the main thing that I do love about the circuit is the fact that it is maintenance free. Once you set it up, it is done. No switches, no more hassles. The only thing I can recommend is maybe upgrading the battery or maybe putting in a wind turbine at the charging panel so that it charges quicker and faster. And there you go, simple as that. You now have an automatic system that requires no charge, no maintenance, no anything. And because that second solar panel is off, it is not blocking that pass through, meaning the battery is now discharging through and making your lights go on, causing the battery to deplete overnight. Once the sun rises, the sensor solar will start blocking that circuit again. The charging solar panel will receive electricity and start charging that battery. And of course, the blocker will store that electricity inside the battery. Presto. Of course, the comment section will be riddled with people complaining and saying you could have done this, you could have done that, you could have made it easier. However, I wanted to make a very simple system for a non-electrical enthusiast to just pick up and implement in their bases. I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial on a simple automatic lighting system. It's cheap, it's quick, it's effective, and most of the items that are used are very easily found in boxes along a normal road. Special thank you goes out to my Patreons. Thank you guys for supporting the cause. I absolutely adore you guys. You keep me going. If you'd like to join the Patreon squad, stalk me on Twitter or join my ever increasing Discord, please feel free to hit all my social links in the description below. Thank you again for your time. Thank you for watching. And as always, Blackout.